In this lesson, we're going to learn how to do the inverse of a log function. So there are two main things you need to know before we go into this lesson. Number one, you need to know how to uh, find an inverse. Let me quickly show you how to do that. I'll show you with a basic example of a straight line. Let's say we have y equals to 6x minus 8. To find an inverse, you first have to switch x and y around. And of course, I've made videos on this in the past. But I'm assuming, or maybe you're a student who just hasn't had the time to go through all of that. So let me quickly give you the basics. So step one, you see what we did? We switched x and y around. Okay. Step two, get y alone again. Um, sorry, step two. Uh, this is step one. And then step two, get the y alone again. So that would be like x plus 8, because I took the, plus, the negative 8 over. And then you'd divide everything by 6, and so you'd end up with that. Okay, so that's how you take an inverse. The next thing you need to remember is how to, how to switch between, um, from an exponential, or sorry, from a log to an exponential. Okay, I've got notes on that in the in the next slide, so I'll, I'll show you how to do that. So let's get started. So here we have um, a log equation, and they want us to find the inverse. So to find the inverse, step one, switch x and y around. That is your first step, switch x and y around. There we go. Now, you have to try get this y by itself. So that's where I want you to follow this, okay? So look at this equation. It's a log equation, so scratch that one out and just copy what you see here. So the number that is next to the log, which is this one, call that the base, okay? That's your base. Then this part here, I want you to label that as other. And then this part here, I want you to label that as exponent. Okay, then now scratch that out because you've used that. And then let's see here. Now this is what I want you to rewrite it as. So I want you to put the base first, so that's three. Then I want you to put the exponent, which is we labeled that as this one. And then I want you to put the other, which is the 2y. Look at that. Then I want you to just get y by itself by just dividing by 2. And there you did it. We've got y by itself. Now I know that this part might not make 100% sense right now. But I also know that as a student, sometimes you don't have enough time to go into the history of how the, how the Egyptians um, discovered all of this and how the pyramids were invented using mathematics and blah, 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 and how one day this formula was just invented or log was discovered. We don't care, okay? We as students just need to know, boom, 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 what do we need to do? Let's get done. So write these down. They're very useful. Okay, so let's go to the next question. Okay, so step one, remember, don't use this just yet. Just first switch X and Y around. That is um, step one for doing inverse. Okay, now, you need to try and get, you see, we've got a log equation. So it's got to look like this, but at the moment, it doesn't look like that. You see, there's nothing in front of this log, but we have a minus 10. So I want you to first divide by minus 10. There we go. Okay, now everything is looking uh, pretty much exactly like this one over here. So I want you to go label everything now. So the thing that's next to the log, that's your base. Uh, this part here is what we're going to call other. And then this part here is the exponent. So now I want you to scratch that part out and then rewrite it using this. So base, uh, base goes first, then exponent, which is x over negative 10, and then the other, which is the y. And look at that. You've just got y by itself. Here's our next example. So we need to get, um, first you need to switch x and y around. That's always step one with inverse. Kevin, shut up now. I hear you, okay? I know. I'm going to switch x and y around. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I tend to repeat myself. Um, people in my family get annoyed with me too. But anyways, um, so what happens now is, okay, we need to get rid of this 8, Okay, because you don't want anything to be in front of the log. So you're going to divide by 8. There we go. Okay, so now what we can do is just go label everything. So um, the part that's next to the log, you see, so, so don't copy this, copy this. So that's called your base. Let's label that as the base. Then this part here is the other. And then this part here, which is this part, is the exponent. Okay, now cr scratch this one out because now we want to rewrite it. You see, we want to rewrite it from a log. We don't want it in a log anymore. We rather want it to be written as an exponential. So um, it says start with the base, which is 2. 
then the exponent, which is x over 8, and then the other, which is y. And there you've got y by itself. Here's our last example. Step 1, switch x and y around. Okay, so now we have, we currently have a log equation, so we have that one. So that means that this is the exponent, uh, this is the base, and then this part is what we call other. So what we want to now do is rewrite it as an exponential, so it goes like this. So the base goes first, then the exponent, which is x, and then the other. Now, we, we need to get this y completely alone, so I'm going to take that plus 10 and take it to the other side. And so we're going to end up with y equals to 6 to the x, and then take away 10, and that would be your final answer.